Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Raleen Marks. As always, you join me right here on the Israel Brief brought to you by Lay of the Land every Monday to Thursday, where we take a top look at the stories making headlines in Israel. And sometimes we are even accompanied by Barky McBark Pants across the way from me who weighs in on what is happening in his country. So let's take a look at those top stories. We are day 145 of Israel's war with Hamas. We cannot forget how this war started on the 7th of October with the mass infiltration of Hamas terrorists into Israeli sovereign territory. Now, um, as much as I like to bring you the news, I unfortunately can't bring you all the individual stories, uh, some of the stories of survivors, of the communities, of uh, the, the families of hostages, and of the hostages who have been freed. So I urge you, uh, please, to check out sites like All Israel, uh, as well as I24 News, their YouTube channel. There are a lot of stories there about uh, the people from Israel's side uh, who have been affected. I also want to be clear, this in no way means that I am dismissing the, the experience and the suffering of people in Gaza. And it's important to know that we in Israel don't want to see our neighbors suffering. This is a war we did not want. It was a war forced on us by Hamas when they infiltrated on the 7th of October. Israelis are very, very acutely aware of the suffering of the people of Gaza. And even though now uh, we're too deep in our trauma to really talk about uh, how we advance peace, we still don't want to see them suffer in any way. I thought, I thought that was important to get out because there is this misconception in the media, especially on social media, that Israelis just don't care. We care very much, very much. So now on with the headlines and we begin with news that the armed wing of Hamas is a Din al-Qassam have claimed responsibility for the firing of 40 rockets, some of them grad rockets, from southern Lebanon into northern Israel earlier today, setting off the red alert sirens. Uh, they claim to have targeted a, an airfield. The IDF say they are not aware of any strikes on any Israeli um, airfield. What we do know is that rockets were fired towards the northern city of Kiryat Shmone, and there has been some damage to houses there. Last night, for the first time in 10 days, rockets were fired from the Gaza Strip into southern Israel through to the city of Ashkelon. Palestinian Islamic Jihad have claimed responsibility for those. Earlier today, the Israeli Air Force, in coordination with the United Arab Emirates, Jordan, the United States, France and Egypt uh, uh, agreed on an airdrop. They managed to airdrop food and medicine and in 17 different points, about 160 different packages in 17 different points across uh, the Gaza Strip, uh, giving people their much needed medical aid and also assisting the Jordanian um, field hospital there. This is in addition to the humanitarian aid trucks going in every single day. Uh, you can check on Israel's uh, humanitarian assistance. Uh, Google COGAT, that's uh, C-O-G-A-T, that is the unit responsible for sending in humanitarian aid every single day. If it is easier to follow their social media, please do on X and various other social media outlets and you will have a bird's eye view into how much uh, humanitarian aid that uh, Israel is sending in. As we have said before, there is no um, caption, there is no limit to the amount of aid we are prepared to set in. Well, we have been speaking here on the Israel Brief about the negotiation tango with re regards to the release of hostages. And we do know that Hamas is apparently mulling the hostage deal, which would see a 40-day pause and a ratio of 10 to 1 Palestinian prisoners released 
in order for us to get our hostages back. We really are prepared to do anything. In, in the words of uh, Tammy Metzger, a former hostage speaking in an interview a few days ago, she said, Re release however many, we've got the strength to deal with them afterwards. Addressing a television, Hamas leader Ismail Haniyeh said uh, that they are showing flexibility as far as the negotiations are concerned, but called on what he calls the resistance to keep fighting and implored uh, the three axes of resistance, that is um, Hezbollah, uh, Shiites and Houthis, to march on the Temple Mount for the first day of Ramadan. Israel's Defense Minister Yoav Gallant has said that Hamas wants to turn uh, uh, Ramadan into another October 7th. We can't forget that Hamas, in their own words, have taken to various uh, TV outlets to say they want to commit uh, October the 7th again and again and again. Speaking of the families of hostages, they started a massive march from the south. They started uh, today and walked to Sterot, where they paid tribute to the police who fell in the Battle of Sterot. They will march onto Kiryat Gat, very close to Tel Aviv, where they will stay the night. Tomorrow they will proceed on to Beit Shemesh. At these various stops they will be paying tribute to those murdered and those taken hostage and eventually will march on the capital, Jerusalem, where it will culminate in a, a rally in Paris Square on Saturday night. Now, if you follow social media, you would think that the whole world hates Israel. But according to a recent poll conducted by the Harvard Harris Foundation, and I, I love the irony that uh, Harvard University is involved considering the anti-Semitism and anti-Zionism on that campus. They've conducted a poll into uh, how many Americans support Israel. And, and, and the stats are incredible. I'm going to read them here. 82% of Americans support Israel. 67% say they will uh, agree to a ceasefire on condition that Hamas is eradicated and the hostages are released. 63% say they support Israeli sovereignty over the West Bank. And 78% say Hamas should be removed from the Gaza Strip. Barky McBark pants over there agrees. Um, so that's it today, four day 145 of Israel's war with Hamas. Please don't forget to check out our website at www.layoftheland.online. Our Facebook community is at Lottel site. Our YouTube channel, as always, is at the Israel Brief. We're on Twitter or X, however you want to call it, at Lay of the Land 5. I'm Rolene Marks. This is it from me for today, guys. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. I will see you tomorrow.